ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट द इंटरफेसिंग ऑफ ऑप्टो कपलर विद अवर पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर यू मस्ट नो दैट ऑप्टो कपलर इज ए डिवाइस दैट इज यूज फॉर टू मेक एन आइसोलेशन बिटवीन इनपुट एंड आउटपुट साइट इट इज यूजली यूज on the gpios of the microcontrollers because we know that microcontrollers are some bit delicate devices which cannot tolerate any sort of more voltages like 10 volt or 15 volt so we have to use an optocoupler between its input side and output side so first we have to take our microcontroller that is pic 18f 452 okay now this is our microcontroller so first we will make its enable pin hi so now it it is it is now able to work okay now we can see that there are like oscillator pins but we are not going to use or we are not going to attach any sort of oscillator external oscillator with the microcontroller okay now we will go and we will take our optocoupler that is okay this one 4 and 3 5 okay now there are two parts one is the diode part or it is the input side and one is the output side this is actually this diode is actually an led which used to give light to the base of the transistor and when the base of the transistor is getting some light it used to conduct between its collector and emitter pins okay now we will connect our anode with the d0 and cathode with the ground that is our ground okay now we will take our led or what's called as the lamp yeah if we want we can take lamp or for the sake of simplicity we just take an led and the led must be green okay so this is our green led okay now we will connect the negative part of the green led with the collector of the transistor and the and the anode part with the dc source and dc must be like a 5 volt or 4 volt or like this so we will just put 4 volt here we also need to put one pull up resistor so we can take one resistor of quarter watt we need to put it like this okay like this also we need to attach the other end of the transistor with the ground okay now like this okay now this is our circuit setup now we will go towards the c code here we have written our simple code okay but uh, okay can like um, we can create new project here yeah. so we will click on new project then next here we need to select our okay this one and here we need to write anything like uh, fox street and next and then finish okay now this is our main function that is the void main so here we will write trace trace d trace d 
simply means that the port D is configured as the input sorry output so trace D is a command trace X is a command and D is the port the port which needs to be declared as output or input must be written here like trace B C or trace D and 0x00 means that all the pins of this port D are initialized as the output pins and now we will write port okay before port we need to write while one it is our infinite loop that will execute again and again all the commands which are written inside its parenthesis so port d dot f0 is equal to 0 then delay millisecond 1000 and port d dot f0 is equal to 1 then delay underscore millisecond 1000 okay so this is our code this delay function will just create 1000 millisecond delay or one second delay and port d dot f0 is equal to 1 and port d dot f0 is equal to 0 means that first this port will become 0 and then this port will become 1 sorry this pin not the whole port but just the single pin so we will click on save and here this is our delta triple zero so we will click on yes now our hex file is created now we will double click on the controller then go to the place where our hex file is saved so g and here okay so delta triple zero dot hex is our file okay now we will run our code now we can see that our LEDs will become on and off on the output side of the optocoupler all this is because we want a complete isolation between input and the output so hopefully you got the concept regarding the optocoupler usage with the Picatina 452 microcontroller so thanks for visiting our channel